I'm in an actual apartment now. moving my camera or my tripod or anything so you can see the wonderful air mattress that I sleep on but it's an air mattress so I can do that anyway this week we are talking about jobs Gaelle mentioned last week that she's just now starting a new one and hopefully she'll tell us more about it this week I moved to LA because of a job I mean I was looking for jobs here in the first place because I wanted to move here so the job that I just started is a itty bitty little company that develops classroom curriculum and community outreach materials for films. It's really exciting. I'll put a link to our Facebook and Twitter in the description. This is really professional of me. Obviously I'm only just now starting this job so I don't have a whole lot to say about it except that my boss is wonderful. I like this smaller atmosphere. I like that my job entails doing a little bit of everything. I don't know how many of you guys have already started to face this problem. This idea of how your social media presence can affect your capacity to get jobs. For me, my ability to use social media is related to my ability to perform a job. So the idea of eradicating myself from all of these places for the sake of finding employment just doesn't make sense. But also I think it says a lot about the kinds of places that I would like to work. That is, I don't really post anything hugely inappropriate to Twitter or Facebook, but at times it might be seen as being too personal for certain work environments. And I see that as kind of a mutual filtering. Just as those companies couldn't hire me, those are kind of places that I don't really want to be working. I don't really know why I'm still holding him. I was thinking we could also talk about jobs that we've had in the past that have been particularly good or bad, or bosses maybe. Like, I love my current boss, but I can only say that she's the second best boss that I've ever had because I've worked for my mom before. And my mom is like really awesome, so. Admittedly, I like this job a lot more than either of the two jobs that I had with my mom as the boss. I've been fortunate enough that I haven't really had any terrible working environments. I will say that I hated my semester as a congressional intern. A miserable, miserable time. I got to give capital tours though, and that was usually pretty fun. I think that was actually the only thing I enjoyed about that job. Oh, and the fancy badge. I desperately wanted to keep the fancy badge afterwards, but it's like a federal crime. It says it on the badge and everything. The first day of this internship that I had with a civil rights organization in DC, offices were being rearranged and redecorated and stuff, and some staffers were leaving and some were coming in. So they had these orange wheelie cart things. They decided they were gonna race them and the like, parking area behind the building. And so we, the interns, got to decorate them. It was a pretty fantastic day. I feel like my contribution to our week of discussing jobs is talking about not working at work. This is fitting since I have a stuffed tiger on my head. Okay, I'm done now. Brittany, maybe I'll get to see your face tomorrow? I'm just gonna keep saying that at the end of all of my videos. I'm hoping and dreaming of the day that this might actually come true. Yeah, that's all. Bye now! Please make a video tomorrow, Brittany. Bye now.